Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. So, you're walking around with a cell phone and you're thinking, I think I could put some magical apps on my phone. I could download some magical apps so that I always have an everyday carry with me, but I don't wanna waste my money. What are the best? What are the top three magic apps I can put on my phone? Let's talk about it in today's viewer's question. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. If you don't know, my name's David and I have a YouTube channel called Magic Orthodoxy where I review magic tricks and playing cards every single day. I provide this free of charge for the community because I love you guys and I want you to spend your money well. Well, recently I've been getting viewer questions and I typically answer them in the comment section because I read every comment, I try to respond to every single comment and it just occurred to me that maybe answering some questions a little bit more publicly would help everyone, right? Help the collective. And so time and time again, people always ask what is best. Right? They say, what is best? What is the best this or what is the best that? And the thing we have to just kind of understand is best is subjective, right? It's subjective. What you might think is best might not be what I think is best. We recommend different things. So even if I made a review like I'm doing now and I said, what are the best magic apps for your phone? That would still be my opinion, right? That would still be my opinion. And sometimes that's helpful, right? Especially if you trust the reviewer, that can be helpful. But it'd probably be even better if you knew what everyone thought was the best, right? Get a collective opinion. So in answer to this question uh, that was posed to me, I went through a ton of comments, hundreds of comments that have been collected over the years on this channel. And I went out to the forums and I asked some of my friends and together, collectively, I have accumulated what I believe is the top three best magic apps that you can buy. Not necessarily my opinion, but this is the opinion of the collected magician universe. Wow, the collected magician universe, that's a, that's a big place. <laughs> So I've got them grouped here. I got three of them for you today. I didn't wanna overwhelm you with five, six, seven, eight apps, right? I mean, if you're gonna put something on your phone and you're gonna spend the money, you're gonna get the best, right? You're gonna get the top three. So giving you five, six, or seven, or 15 isn't helpful, right? You wanna know, I wanna know the best. So here they are in no particular order. The first one is Digital Force Bag from Craig Squires and Nick Einhorn. What is Digital Force Bag? This is an app that allows the user to force any one of a hundred items. The app is so user-friendly, it's not difficult to navigate at all, and could easily be used uh, by a magician of all skill levels. You're gonna get two effects that are included uh, with the download, and it's gonna get you performing right away. And of course, you can fully customize this. And of course, it is what it says it is, right? It's a forcing app. And the great thing about what makes Digital Force Bag unique is it does not look like an app, okay? It doesn't look like an app. Your, your spectator is never gonna assume that you have an app in play. And I know that's something that magicians are always fearful of. They say, well, I don't wanna use technology or you know, technology does this and this and there's wireless and Bluetooth. And I don't want my, I don't want my spectators to ever assume I'm using technology. Well, that's what makes this app great. And this is the, one of the reasons why so many magicians like this is because there's never an app in play. I think another reason why magicians like this is the outcome can be different every single time. It's not always gonna be the same outcome. And as different magicians play with this, they'll be able to create their own unique uh, routines. They'll be able to upload those and then you can export them to your own phone and uh, use them yourselves. Digital Force Bag is $68, $68. And like I said, it's easy to use and it's not one of those apps that you're gonna forget how it goes after a while, I think it's easy to remember as well. Our number two is Inject. It's Inject 2.0 from Greg Rostami. Here's another great app that doesn't even need Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. You're gonna instantly know exactly what your spectator is searching for on their phone. So they do a web search, an image pops up, or uh, a destination pops up, or a definition of a word pops up. You're gonna see it. 
you're gonna know exactly, it's like you have a back door into their phone. Inject is also a forcing app. You'll be able to force anything on your spectator, even though they believe they have a completely free choice. Greg's gonna teach you memory routines. He's gonna teach you routines with definitions of words. He's gonna teach you uh, things with birthdays and none of it requires any advanced memorization on your part. Inject has PDF instructions that are built right into the app. There's also video instructions. Many of these tricks, you'll never touch their phone. Uh, many of these tricks, your phone is never seen. It comes with 18 tricks built in, ready to go. And you'll be able to import new ones as uh, you see new ones. And again, just like the previous, you know, there's no skill, no memorization, there's no accomplice. Like I said, you can do it without Wi-Fi. There's no voice recognition or anything like that. No props, right? It's no props. And I'm a member of the Inject uh, community and it is active. It is active. It's not one of those Facebook uh, forums where you know, like nobody's posting, nobody's saying anything. Inject is full of people that are using this app, talking about how great it is. Uh, it's $75, by the way, 75 bucks. And I've even downloaded, I think like four, I've downloaded like at least four routines that have been made, created by other magicians and imported into uh, my version of Inject. And really, I love all the apps that Greg Rostami uh, has created. I think I have all of them. So he is definitely one of my favorite app creators. And the third one is Wikitest. Wikitest from Mark Kirstein. Wikitest is the only app to ever be awarded Magic Trick of the Year. Not, not App of the Year, not Best Magic App. It literally won Best Magic Trick of the Year because Wikitest allows you to perform a book test using a borrowed phone that, get this, you never touch. That's right, Wikitest is a modern book test that uses a borrowed smartphone. So how the trick goes is you're gonna ask the spectator to search for any object or person on Wikipedia, on their phone and you, it'll bring up an article, right? And you're not looking, the spectator scrolls through the article and they think of a random word on the page. And then you tell the spectator exactly what word they're looking at, as well as uh, what word they're merely thinking of on the page. It works with any modern smartphone or, or tablet or computer. Like I said, you never touch their phone. It's super, super easy to perform. There's no memory work again. Uh, and it works in all languages. So French, German, Spanish, Dutch, Italian, Swedish, right? It's got a whole list of uh, uh, languages it performs in. Now, granted, in Wikitest, obviously, they're going to a website, right? They're going to Wikipedia. But again, it's such a common thing for someone to do and the fact that they're doing it on their own phone and you never touch that, I think is such a strong convincer that, um, that it's real magic, right? That it's a magic trick. So I think that's the great thing about all three of these tricks is none of them look like apps. All of them uh, either involve the spectator's phone or the spectator doing their own thing apart from you. So it really takes some of the heat off of or, or some of the fear off of magicians who are like, well, I don't want you to get a magic app because I'm afraid that they're going to see my phone out or they're going to think that I'm, I'm hacking something, right? Hacking. So <laughs> or that, you know, that the, the phones are paired together or that I see something with Bluetooth or what. I think all three of those tricks take that fear away. And that's why um, magicians go back to these tricks uh, again and again and again. Oh, Wikitest, I forgot to say. Wikitest is $85. So definitely all three of these tricks are high up there, right? They're very expensive. And so that might tempt you to say, well, what's a more affordable app? Well, you're not gonna get the same quality of app, the same power with another app that is a little lesser, right? I mean, I sure I could recommend some apps that are cheaper, but if you wanna talk about what the best is, I think they are at this price point because they are literally the best. All right, so that's the collective hive mind uh, magic universe answer for what the best three magic apps are out there. Like again, this is not my opinion. This was scrolling through your own comments. So my viewer comments, going out to the forums, checking out what they had to say, talking to some friends of mine. Uh, this is collectively uh, what I have researched is really the best three magic apps that you can buy. If you think that collective answer is wrong, 
If you think there's a better app out there, then please, that's the great thing about the internet is you can post that answer below and you can contribute to this conversation. And so people who are looking for answers to this question, I think they would enjoy your answer as well. So please, if you have a friendly or helpful comment that you think could also shed some light or add something to this conversation, please feel free to add that answer below. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.